Yeah. All right, so here's what we have for you now. We have a little adventure called, what's it called? Shrimping? Shrimping. Shrimping. Billy here, he's gonna teach us, teach us, cause I've never done this, all about uh, how to catch shrimp in these little creeks and rivers. And um, a little a little bit of history about it. Any history to it? And people just out no, here eating no, shrimp. Other, <laughs> I've been doing it for 30 some years. This way, there's all yeah. kinds of ways to do it, but me and Jeremy here just like to ride up these tidal creeks, and one thing we do is ride tidal creeks, we look for shrimp scattered, and we just throw the cast net. Now these, uh, you can eat these? Yes, you can eat these. Um, don't catch a lot of real big ones doing it this way, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm certainly looking forward to it. All right, so I guess what we're doing is they're kind of clearing an area on the front of the boat. And I, I have no idea what we're doing. I'm just here. I'm just in the way again. Right, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to go up around the bend. There's a little bit of a deep hole in the uh, bend up here. And that's where we usually have the best luck. What we're going to do is we're going to look for them jumping across the water. And then we're going to throw the net over top of them and try to catch them. You know you got yep. a net full when you can feel them bumping in the net. So what, what are they doing up in these creeks? They like to hide out from the uh, predators up here. Mm -hmm. At high tide, they get up in the grass. And they hide in the grass. So right now we're like half tide or going half down. Tide, and, yeah. And it'll be up in that grass at high tide. And they'll go up in there and yep. feed. They'll They're up, up in the feed. Feeding. Yeah. Okay. It's actually pretty exciting. I actually had no idea you could catch shrimp like out in creeks like this. Yeah, I always yeah. just think of the big, you know, ship, mega ships with giant nets and stuff. <laughs> I didn't know you could do this. <laughs> That's cool. Look like one of my old, uh, old friend Slugger. Guy named Slugger, I used to fly with. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just just realized that. I told I look a lot. A lot of people. I got a lot of doppelgangers. Yeah. Now he's probably about 200 pounds more than you right now, but. Well, I used to be about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just just realized that. <laughs> this is a little shout out to you, Slugger. <laughs> I'll call you. Don't worry. <laughs> so we're just cruising along. Those are oysters. Stuck to the trees and yeah. stuff. I think there's some uh, shells. Yeah, there's some oyster shells back there. On the bank. Yeah. Oh, okay. And that's what would happen is the colonials, Indians, everyone, they would get those oysters that we just looked at on the logs. And of course you bring them up and you could roast them on a fire or boil them or whatever you wanted to do. And they just pitch the shells over the bank. It's really good if you're, if you're doing this, if you got somebody that knows how to drive the boat. <laughs> I have a feeling you know how to drive the boat. And with that, and your guy with a net and the guy driving yeah. the boat need to be thinking along, uh, thinking along the same lines yeah. and they don't have to yell at yeah. each other. Get some? Yeah, we got some. Cute little guys. Yeah, yeah you tell, if I can help you, just let me know. Yeah. <laughs> Do you just leave them on ice all day? Yeah. Yeah. That's cutie. <laughs> Poor little dudes. We're gonna eat those tonight, so. And well, I'll, I'll make a video of that. And look how long your little antennas are. It's kind of wild, isn't it? Now, this is, a, is this a typical size you'd get? For up in these creeks, yeah. They yeah. get a little bit bigger than that. Yeah. Um, but for up in these creeks, that's about average. But they do get bigger. You know, weird looking eyes. Look like bug eyes. Now, if you get out in the, in, the, in the big water, in the deeper yeah. water, and you're baiting for them, which is the way a lot of people around here bait for them, they get bigger ones. What do you, how do you bait them? Uh, what do you use? It's, uh, cat food, I've told, has been worked. It's huh. been worked, but they call it shrimp meal, and you mix it with clay. I've never <laughs> I've never baited for shrimp. Okay. I'm going to do it next year, though. Yeah. Looks like you catch plenty of doing this. Oh, yeah. We can fill that cooler up in no time. <laughs> wow. When we find them. I'm so basically, you just kind of move around until you find concentrations of them? Yeah. Okay. That's that oyster bed I was telling you about. Those things are really sharp, the oysters, too. Yeah. If you were to walk on them, they cut you up, won't they? Yeah, when you and when you go oystering, people, when they do it, you need to wear Kevlar gloves yeah. and, and uh, some really good, heavy, thick boots. Oh, that, that little one's jumping? Oh, yeah. Is that what that is? We just saw a bunch of little ones jumping there. I guess that's kind of what we want to do is go along and um, when they start... I guess they get afraid of the boat and start trying to get away. Is that what happens? Yeah. Or? The bottom up in here is a little bit more sandy. 
and they like they seem to like that yeah yeah they like the mud too but you call these like creek shrimp? Is that yeah, what they're kind of? Yeah, okay. Or brown creek shrimp. I uh, think what they're. And they are good to eat. Very good. Okay. Oh, yeah. You got one? Got one or two, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. That's a mullet. Those fish are mullets. They're good bait, aren't they? Yeah, real good bait for uh, redfish. You saving them or are you just pitching those back? The mullet? Uh, I don't want them. Okay. Decent size shrimp right there. Yeah. Let's take a look at it. You want me to throw the fish back or? Yeah, you can throw I mean, I don't know. Come here, buddy. <laughs> here you go. Those. That's nice. And uh, hey, can I see a net for a second? Yeah. yeah. If you look at the net, these are the weights. And uh, if you watch my videos, I find lots of these, um, you know, in the tidal waters. Uh, net weights. Of course, they use those back in the phony oh, days yeah. too, forever, pretty much. Oh yeah, look at that. Now, is there like a limit? To, to this uh, 48 quart 48 quart cooler. 48 quart like that cooler full yeah wow <laughs> Wait. there you go so you can eat even the smallest ones without a problem because you're frying them, right? Yeah. I, I'll shell them first. Oh, do you? Yeah. I eat the shells. Oh, do you? Yeah. I'll throw yours in their shells on. Yeah, but I don't care. I like shells. A little bit of roughage. I'm, you know, I actually do. I do eat the shells when I eat shrimp. And there's two reasons. One is I'm lazy. And two, you can eat a lot of them really fast. So if you like have a big bowl of them on the table and everybody's shelling them, you can eat like 10 of them for everyone they can eat. So you get a <laughs> lot more. My wife's the same way now. I taught her that trick. She's like, rah, we don't shell anything. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to do some other stuff today. But tonight, we're going to cook those things up. We're this evening sometime. And I'll show you. Uh, Billy's going to teach us how to cook those shrimp, aren't you? How I do it. Ah, is it going to be good? Oh, yeah. All right. I'm looking forward to it. It ain't no good. I know. You're a good cook. We'll see you a little bit later. Okay. Well, guess what? It's the end of the day. Can you tell? We're really tired. Long day. Lots of good adventures. But what we're going to do right now, look how calm it is, too. It's really, really, really nice evening. Is uh, we're going to get the, some, some of the shrimp down here. We're going to show you how to, or you're going to devein them. I'm going to pop the heads off. Um, uh, if I get lucky, the vein will come out with it. But if not, I'll you can pull it out later yeah and this is something i guess you pretty much have to do with shrimp uh, when you buy the ones in the store you usually they're already done right yeah but you, you can yeah. buy them head on head off yeah preference okay well let's see how he does i've never seen this done so you're gonna learn with me all right so what i do is i'll is i hold it by its head and i just take my thumb yeah. right there in that crease and i'll pop it and if you get lucky, you'll get the vein to come out with it. Okay, it's that little that, yucky mucky thing. Yeah, you don't want to know what that is, but that's... But I mean, that's like his guts, right? Yeah, it's the yeah. digestive tract. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So, Does it taste bad or just gross? Just gritty. It's, it's sandy? It's sandy, yes. Yeah, real oh, okay. gritty. If, um, some people leave it in there. Some people don't. Preference. So, so typically when you buy it at the store, this is what you end up with. Yeah, when you, go, when you get one from the store, that's what you got, and it's got the vein in it. Um, I don't have a shrimp peeler here but they have a, a tool that you can shove right down the backbone that will devein it and pull the, the shell off all at the same time okay but you can also do the same thing with a fork you can stick a fork up in there and then you pull the pull the shell back with the fork but since i don't have any of that i gotta do it just grab it by the legs and you just peel the, the shell back so we're, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and get all of the shrimp that we caught today and we're going to get them worked up and then make something tonight yes um, right. I'm gonna make uh, shrimp and grits. It's uh, it's not as good as what I'm what I normally make, but I'm roughing it, and uh, we're just gonna uh, saute saute some up in a pan, the quick and easy way. 
Nice. But I'm keeping the shells. If you've noticed, I'm putting the shells in there and throwing the heads off the dock. But I use the shells to make a stock to put in the grits so that you get the grits have a real shrimpy flavor. I like it. And if I had some heavy whipping cream, I'd put that in there too, but we're camping, so. And the grits are the same thing you have for breakfast, right? Yes, same... it's just, yes. And okay. shrimp and grits, good for breakfast, good for dinner, good for lunch. It doesn't matter to me. Awesome, man. It doesn't matter to me either. <laughs> All right, you guys hang in there. Uh, it'll be dark before you see us again, but we're going to have some awesome food cooking. Just hang in. Oh, ah, sorry. Yeah, okay, so here we are. Um, we have the uh, shrimp peeled and ready to roll, and you're doing a lot of work. I'm mostly just like watching. Why don't oh. you explain to them what you did? Right. Explain to me too. All right, what I did is I took the shells off the shrimp and I boiled them with water and some garlic uh, powder, fresh garlic if you got it, and made a stock with the shells. Then I strained the shells out of the stock and I made, that's we've already made the grits. I, I did that beforehand. So we got the grits are made with the shrimp stock. Let's take a look at those. And now we got our frying pan heating up. And in our frying pan, we're going to put onions, bell peppers, and andouille sausage. And then once that's done, the shrimp always goes in last because it takes the least mm -hmm. amount of time to cook. So we're going to put the throw this butter in there, throw the onions and the bell peppers in, and then we're going to throw the sausage in. That looks good, man. How long do you cook the uh, the vegetable stuff for? Not roughly? too long, just they soften up. Okay. It depends on how you, how hot you're cooking and mm -hmm. how long it takes. Man, that smells good already. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're doing this out here in the uh, in the wild all, like this. I do you it know? all the time. It's awesome. I, I do it all the time. So we're gonna cook that for a few minutes. And then, then we're the gonna next step. Put the shrimp in. Alright. Hang tight, it's gonna be awesome. I'm already so starving. <laughs> I mean it smells so good. Doesn't it? Yeah, it's nothing it like cooking onions and butter. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably what it is. Yeah, onions it's onions and butter. And butter. Yeah. If you want to wake everybody in your house up, yeah. either cook a pound of bacon or, or some onions and some butter. Yeah. Everybody in the house will wake up. <laughs> awesome, man. Alright, give us a couple minutes. We'll be right back. How's she looking? About ready. Now, what you tell me about that pan again. You tell me a story about that family pan. This pan belonged to my great grandfather um, back in the, I don't know how long, when he got it, but my mother, he used to take my mother and my aunt, they would go camping I, in the 60s, and I used to hear stories about how he used to cook in his pan, cooking breakfast and all in it, and um, it was on my grandfather's wall forever, and it was all rusted up, and then when they were moving out of their house, to another house they asked me if I wanted it and I took it and I just hung it up on the wall for a while and then I cleaned it up got all the rust off of it and then started using it and it I don't know why I hadn't been using it sooner but it works really good and I didn't get to know my great-grandfather very well but I know he's looking down I'm glad I'm using his pan out in the camp yeah That's beautiful he loved to camp Time for the shrimp? Yep. Mmm, that smells good. Oh, are we getting close? Yeah. 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 Can, can you feel it? <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> that smells so good. <laughs> Super, well, hungry and super stoked. This is awesome, man. This is really good. We went shrimping one day. We had a bunch of shrimp in the cooler. We put ice on top of the shrimp, and the shrimp on the bottom stayed hot. And I went to clean them later that afternoon. They had turned pink. Oh, wow. You know, I, I never heard that, but, you know, looking at those, I don't think I've ever seen shrimp that were so pale looking. Yeah. That's because they're fresh. They're fresh. Now, wow. it also this time of year, they're, they're a little lighter in color. You yeah. In the summer, they'll be darker. We even got shrimp out here called tiger shrimp. They got red legs. Uh, you local folks will know what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, you don't want any pink spots on them at all. And they shouldn't smell. 
They shouldn't have any smell it at all. It has no, not much it should odor. smell like the water. Can I, yes. Yeah. yeah. That's, my, I mean, I can smell something, gotta, but yeah, it's not would, like, well, it's like It shouldn't fishing. smell rotten. Yeah. Yeah, so that tip of the day. Yeah, okay, good. That's awesome. And keep them on ice as much as you can. They don't turn pink, right? So they don't turn <laughs> pink. All right, so what are we doing now? We're going to put the grits in the bowl. Now, grits is a southern, you know, basically a southern staple, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Usually yes. for breakfast. We eat it for and breakfast, stuff. lunch, and dinner. Right it's, here. it's basically like some type of corn yes. inside of the corn or yes. something kernel. Yeah, uh, a little white thing in the corner, yeah. in, in, the, in the corn, and it's real greedy if you eat it, but you cook it long enough, it's not greedy yeah. anymore. I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> grits. Grits and shrimp and all that stuff. So, what would you call that dish? Shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits. <laughs> For me. There's, and there's oh, no dude. right there's no right or wrong way to make it. This yeah. is, and I this is just one of my few ways that I make it. Wow, that is beautiful. It smells so good. I'll let you know how it tastes. Just hang on there a second. Alright, the moment of truth. How is it? Really good. I wasn't waiting. <laughs> I know I noticed you didn't wait at all. All right, let's take a little bite here. Is it, how hard is it? Like, is it going to burn? No, no, no. Okay, no. all right. You ready? Let's do it. Mmm. Dude, that is awesome. <laughs> how can you even come up with something like that? Especially out here, you know, just... I mean, I'd be eating, like... If I was here by myself, I'd be eating macaroni and cheese dry out of a box. It pays to this go is camping. good. It pays to go camping with me. Yeah, it sure does. Mm. And you know what? I eat like this whether I'm camping or I'm at the house. Yeah. Really good. Thank you so much, man. It's, it is awesome. It is awesome. What a great end to the day. It is. Made it a lousy, well, I ain't gonna call it lousy because we had a good time. But a it, little, uh, it sure did make up for it. So. Cheers. Cheers. Take the coins from your pocket, take